Hello and welcome to Exponentials 2.1, Defining the Logarithmic Function. Okay, so today I'm going to introduce to you what is called a logarithm, and I'm going to use the concept of an inverse to introduce this concept to you. And if you're saying to yourself, why does the inverse word sound familiar? And why do the four steps that I see on this slide look familiar as well? It's because we learned it, I believe, last quarter. Yeah, where um, there's four steps to find the inverse and the four steps are outlined in the in this slide that you see right in front of you. Okay, and as this inverse is used to introduce what the logarithm is, um, you're going to start to get to know this, I guess, conversion is going to be um, brought to light and is going to be introduced as something that is super, super important. For you to remember how to do for the rest of your time as far as you doing logarithms in in this class and in other classes in the future so yeah it best be good to uh learn this conversion really really well okay and the best way i can compare the conversion that you see in the circle is i believe last quarter we learned uh, what is called exponent form so i put a little example on the bottom where exponent form was um, sometimes in the form of five to the one third power Okay, and when I changed it to radical form instead, the one on the top of the fraction tells us how many fives we have inside the radical symbol, and the three on the bottom tells us what type of radical it is. So it's a, it's a cube root. Okay, so um, that's the best way I can I can compare what this little conversion formula is going to do. It's going to change the look of of the problem. And it's going to turn what we had known as exponent form into what is going to be known as logarithm form, which is on the bottom in this circle. Okay, so let's just get on with um, this process of introducing logarithms to you through the use of inverses. So let's get to our first problem. All right, so we have f of x equals 5 to the x power. So we want to find the inverse of this, of this function. And right now it's in what is called exponential form, right? You see a base five, you see a power of X. Okay, so we're gonna follow our four steps. And the first step says, uh, switch out the F of X with the letter Y. So that's what we're gonna do, right? Y instead of F of X. So Y equals five to the X power. Okay, step two says, switch X and Y. So I'm gonna rewrite this as X equals five to the Y power. Okay, and once we get to this step, yeah, our third step is going to be impossible according to the math that you probably will have in your brain right now. So our step three says solve for y, but the hard part is we've never solved for y when y is a power. Okay, unless you've had teachers that have taught you guys some advanced things, uh, you probably don't know how to get the y by itself at this stage. Okay, and right now, like I said, we're in a form called exponential form. So right now, this, this step that we're in right now, you can call this or label it or categorize this as exponential form. So I'm just going to abbreviate it exponential form, EXP form. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this into what is called log form, logarithm form. Okay, so how, how it helps, um, what helps to make this form um, convert to log form is to understand the name of the three pieces that you see in exponent form. Okay, so I'm sure you know what the five is called. The five is called base. I'm sure you know what the y is called. And don't say it's called y, it's called the exponent. All right, and the name of the x, um, people have different names for the, the name of the x, but I like to just call it answer, right? Because five to whatever power it's at is gonna give you some kind of an answer. Yeah, so I just call the x an answer. It's, it has another name, but I just call it the answer. Okay, all right, so five is my base y is my exponent and x is called the answer okay and if you remember the first slide that i showed you let me go backtrack to it right we have the base right which is in this particular problem that we're doing right now it's the five we have an exponent which in this particular problem that we're doing right now is the y and we have the answer which is filled in with the letter x instead Okay, so all we got to do is when I switch forms from exponent form to log form, I just got to remember what letter or number 
occupies that particular spot or that location and fill it in with the exact same letter. So the letter that occupies the spot called exponent is Y. So I'm going to put a Y right here. The letter that occupies, I'm sorry, the number rather that occupies the word called base is a five. So I'm going to put a five right here. And the letter that occupies the spot that has answer is an X. Okay. So I'm going to recreate what I just wrote in the circle just now with those three red Y and five and X. So I'm going to go back to my original problem that I'm at and I'm going to change the form from exponent form to what is called log form. So I'm going to rewrite this guy as Y equals, oops, let me actually change it back to blue. So I'm going to write Y equals log base five of X. Okay. And this is what you will call log form. And we just accomplished what step three says to do, which is solve for y, right? The y is now by itself. It's no longer in that power position, all right? So when you convert from exponent form to log form in this very same way, right, all you got to do is remember what numbers or letters occupy the spot that we label them as, right? X is filling the spot called answer. Five takes the place of the word base and Y is taking the place of the word exponent. Okay, so those you should know, those should actually make sense because you guys have worked with exponents many times before. The part that's gonna be difficult is actually writing log form and knowing where to put these letters and numbers. So you gotta get used to, to the fact that base is gonna be your tiny little number right next to the word log. Y is going to be the number right in the very, very front in front of the equal sign. And answer is going to be the, the number or letter rather that's going to be inside of your parentheses. OK, so that's going to be the part that's going to take some getting used to. OK, so this is step three. And for step four, we're just going to replace the, the Y with inverse notation. So we're just going to write. Oops, wrong color again. inverse of x equals log base 5 of x okay and this problem is done okay so what this what this um, inverse does is it introduces to you the inverse form yeah, of y equals f of f to the x power yeah and we're going to use log form to get these 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 steps done all right. Okay. So next problem, letter B. So we're going to replace the f of x with y, and we're going to write y equals 10 to the x power. All right. And then we're going to switch out the x and the y. So we're going to write x equals 10 to the y power. And then we're going to switch forms. So currently we are in exponent form. And we're going to switch it to log form. OK, so let's just label the pieces that we have. So 10 is my base. Y is my exponent and X is my answer. OK, so when I start writing it out, OK, I'll write out the little format for log form right here. Um, when you write out log form, it's going to be exponent exp exponent equals log with base of answer. Okay, so follow this format as we fill out the letters and numbers. So exponent in the front, the Y is going to be put there because Y is my exponent that we labeled earlier. Okay, then we're going to write the word log. And right next to the word log, we have what is known as base. And earlier we identified 10 as my base. Okay, and then in parentheses, we see the word answer. And what do we label as answer in our exponent form? We label the x as our answer in exponent form. So we put an x in the parentheses. Okay. So once you can understand that 10 is your base, y is your exponent, x is your answer, you just gotta insert it into those spots for x for log form. All right. Okay, and then our last step is gonna be to write the inverse notation. So here's my inverse notation. So the y gets replaced. And here's your final step. Here's your final answer.
Okay, so this lesson is just basically to introduce to you, um, I guess, the conversion between exponent form and log form, so they can go back and forth. Yeah, and there's no, uh, there's actually no homework attached to this assignment, so just just make sure you understand one thing from this lesson: how to transform or how to convert from exponent form to log form. That's the main thing you want to take away from this lesson. All right, in lesson 2.2, exponents 2.2, we're going to actually make you guys cheat, do this conversion on your own. Okay, so this lesson was just to introduce to you what's going on. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video, and yeah, good luck on this assignment. Bye-bye.